Alright, hey guys, today we're going to be covering how to set up your Table Board Studio ship system, V008. Uh, this is going to be better organized. So the first thing we're going to want to do, you're going to want to get your file that you got from the bot or a staff member. You're going to want to insert it into the game. Okay, so now it's in the game. So, good. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to click... We're going to right click this, we're going to click ungroup, and we're good. You do not need to read this because we're doing a tutorial, but here's what we're going to do. So, you should be whitelisted if you aren't contact TBS staff. Um, so anyway, we're going to go to game settings, permission, or not per security. We're going to allow HTTP. We're going to turn on enable studio access to API. You do not need these two. And we're going to click save. So you go to home, game settings, security, and you toggle the two top ones. Click save. Okay. So now, in theory, it should work. Okay. So it does work. Let's see, we got our horn. Actually, let me turn up my volume. Because it's down. Let's see, we got our horn. We got our straight. That makes people run for so nice okay so if it isn't working here is why we're gonna go it probably won't be working but in my case see group ID using group is set to true right if I make this um, let me make, find a random group ID so let's say I make this a uh, group so let's say I put Disney in here right so I've put Disney in here and I don't have a rank in Disney currently don't plan on having one, it will not give me, see, it will not give me the thing. So your system isn't broken, it just has to do with your group ID configuration. If you click using group and set it to false, so you click using group and ship system configuration, which is in ship system number, click false, and it should work. What? I shouldn't do that. That's not good. Okay, one second. So we're going to turn using group to true. Yeah, so it's recommended you use a group so you don't get kicked. Okay, why am I getting kicked? Okay, that's not good. Uh, let me just whitelist myself real quick. I inspire. Okay, so that's good. I know that works, but I shouldn't be doing that. Let me just add myself to authorized user. So here's the thing. If you're using a group and the group isn't whitelisted, I think that can happen. I'm not exactly sure, but it shouldn't be kicking me. So one second. Okay, why the heck is it kicking me? You were kicked from... I shouldn't be doing that. How is it just working? Wait, okay. So using group. I'm not sure if the owner the owner setting might not work. So I'm just gonna put TBS testing team back in. Okay, so that was because it was a group. Uh the group was not whitelisted, which doesn't exactly make sense to me, because it shouldn't do that. Because Disney is whitelisted. So I don't know why the heck. Let's put City of Perma run. Okay, so I added them. So let's change group ID to that. If it kicks us, I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. Okay. Alright, so I, I don't know. But it's working now. So, okay, so I put my group in here. One of my many groups in here. Rank required to use. Um, if you make it 300, no one's going to be able to open it. So, realistically, you should look at your roles and say, okay... I only want the owner to use it, or I want every I want the co-owner to use it, or something. Uh, so you do need to look at that. Uh, I'm gonna put 253, and so so using group is true. Using group is false. I don't think that works in Studio. It might not work at all uh, due to whitelist, but that really shouldn't affect anything. Let me let me see something here. If it kicks me, I guess you just okay. 
So maybe I wasn't whitelisted. I'm not exactly sure. But it's good now. So um, the ship does work with using group false. I don't know. I, I Well, I wasn't whitelisted, and so I added myself to the whitelist. So, now I'm good. so yeah, you do need to make sure you're whitelisted or else you will get kicked. Uh, so here's the demonstration ship. The only reason it's sinking is because this is a really small ship. And, you know, the mass is small, and it's actually one union. Okay, so we're good there. We've got our logs, you see, right there. Okay, so everyone does see that. Now, clear logs is a local thing for a few reasons. Okay, so now we're going to go over how do I add another ship system, right? So we're going to close that. We're going to delete readme. You're going to click this, and you're going to want to have your F3X plug in. So we're covering multiple things in this video. We're covering how to add extra ships, and we're covering a few other things. So we're going to want to go to demo map. We do not want the demo map for this one. And so we want to move him here. Okay. So we're going to break welds. I don't recommend breaking welds, but depending a ship isn't welded, you're going to want to select. So in this case, you could put your ship in the ship system folder like this, you can name it to uh, ship, and you can just group your ship and drag them in there. You do not have to group this with the ship, and this should always be in workspace, or else it will not work. Leave all these scripts alone, because you don't, yeah, you just don't need it. This is really critical, right? So this is ship system number one, this guy, right? This right here is what is going to make you break your ship system for multiple ships. Okay, so not want the same value or else the other ui will be able to control it if you do actually want two uis you could do that actually speaking uh you could delete boat control and just keep gui and you could just leave it on that but if you want a multiple on your ship but i don't recommend that because i've never tried it so value two so he's value two and he is value um what was it? and he's value one ship system one ship system two when i join the game if we look in workspace, see TBS ship system number one, TBS ship system number two. Uh, the other ship shouldn't have synced, but it's probably something I did back in the Um, oh, I don't think I ever welded it, did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so now that he's welded, we're gonna go over this. Okay, so if I unanchor, see this ship is able to fully function independently of that ship now if i was to get rid of him and i oh shoot i forgot to include that in this update no i forgot something uh this is supposed to get destroyed so we destroy him right oh i just destroyed it cliently nah, hold on a minute so yeah you should probably reset if you're gonna do that uh or something i don't know so delete Clint. Okay, so now we see he's going forward, right? See, now we are functioning totally independent because just because TBS ship system 2, TBS ship system 1, if it has the same value, then these will not work too well. Um, and then thrusters, uh, thrusters, let's see. This is actually something I'm proud of because now you're not sliding off the ship. If you try to go forward and thrust, though, it doesn't exactly work too well, as we can see right here. It's just, I don't recommend it yet. I will probably include something in 8.1 for that, but I haven't gotten there yet. So, yeah. Let's be in here. Ship, and boom. Okay, so that's how you set that up. But now we're going to go over, okay, so that's the demo map, but how do I add it to my ship? That could be tricky. It could be easy. It just depends who you are. It depends if you've got experience to do this or not. So, but anyway, if you don't have experience, we're going to go over. So pretend this is my ship. This is the ship I would like to add. This is, um, obviously you don't get the ship with your system, but I'm just going to show it in this case of this video. So we're going to put it like that. Okay, so my ship's in the game. The helm is facing this way. So remember, this seat, if it's like this, this means it is facing forwards. If you want to, so make sure you don't put it on backwards, because they're all sales problems. 
So currently, if I did this, everything would be inversed. So I want to click this rotate tool. I want to rotate him till he is rotated 180. And actually, to be easier, if you type in 180 in here, you can just drag it until it rotates. So now he is rotated 180 degrees, right? We are going to set this to 0 0.01. This is preferable. Uh, you could keep it on one. It depends what you want. Uh, and I'm going to put, so I'm going to drag it here. Okay. So I'll just actually put my seat there. I'm going to drag him here. So I'm going to put him on the steering wheel, per se. And actually change that to 0 0.001. Uh, you can resize this too if you want. Um, it doesn't matter. You can make it invisible if you want. Just so like, oh yeah, click the steering wheel to the ground. See, you just make it invisible. It doesn't matter. And also make sure can collide is off. Uh, you don't have to, but you should. Now, this isn't anchored, right? This guy should always be anchored. The boat control should always be anchored. Um, so my ship, okay, if it is, if your ship is anchored, right, so actually I'm going to drag my ship 100 back. You guys do not do this part. But let's say, so your ship does not need to be grouped. Um, you can keep it like all these parts um, if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's organizational preferences. So make sure your ship is unanchored. The ship needs to be unanchored or else this system will not work because your ship is anchored. If your system isn't working on your ship, that means you either have HTTP, or that means your ship is anchored. Uh, so since I unanchored my ship, boat control stays anchored, this should be tight. If I click, okay, we're gonna break welds. There shouldn't be any, but I don't recommend do breaking welds. Um, unless you're moving it around, you always have to reweld it if you move your ship system around. So if I click weld the last, it has created 41 welds. That means my ship is now set to work with that. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to put a spawn point so I can get on my ship and uh, up. Now your ship may lag. That's because you probably have too many parts. That is not the ship system's fault. That could be because you have too many parts and or bad software. Either or really. Okay, so we're anchored. So we're going to test it. I have to go. Oh my god, why does it do this to me? <sighs> okay. Um, ignore. So, yeah, that's just from testing it in studio. You will get that sometimes. I haven't found a fix for that yet. So, we're just going to turn using group on. Uh, we're just going to. I'm hoping that'll fix it, but it probably won't. Got to rejoin a few times. So, if you do get kicked, just go test it in the main game. Um, sometimes it's just when you join because it doesn't fully load. It will tell us you did steal the system, so, but we also will check if you bought it or not. So it actually does tell us in Discord. If you get kicked, it sends us a message saying, hey, this guy stole it. Probably, but, you know, we check. So, I now have my system. I'm in the seat. You don't have to be in the seat. I actually prefer to walk around. Um, so, we're going to click on Anchor, and our ship should now... Our ship should now move. Um, if it doesn't move, you did something wrong, and I recommend rewatching the video. If you keep getting kicked, just try it in the main game. Uh, that's all I can suggest because studio can be weird. So let's say I think my turning's too fast, or let's say this ship doesn't go fast enough for me. Let's say I want him to go faster. This is it's just too slow, and I want it to be able to go a thousand knots. And same with thrust. So all these are adjustable. So what we're gonna do. We're going to go ship system configuration. Um, so we're at this guy. Um, and we're going to go to ship system configuration. And you see driving settings. Open that up. Max port thrust, 2. So let's say I want the thrust to go fast. I can make him 10. I'm going to want to find starboard thrust. And I'm going to want to change him to 10. So port and starboard thrust. Max port thrust and max starboard thrust should be the same number. Max port turn. Uh... This is turning speed, the lower, the slower it turns. So this is 0 0.15. If I want him to turn slower, I can set him to 0 0.10. I'm going to click Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to find max starboard turn, and I'm going to put 0 0.10. Problem solved. Okay. Max starboard thrust, again, we already did that, so max speed forward. Uh, let's say I want it to be uh, 10. 
What if I want it to be slower? I click ten, uh, 20 for max forward. Reverse, you can make it 20, make a different number, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to make it 15. Negative 15. Make sure you have a negative sign for max speed red because, yeah, just because, just make sure you do that. So click enter. And we're going to test him. If I get kicked again, I'm just going to rejoin. Uh, okay. Yeah, so sometimes it's just joining. I don't know. Uh, okay, so sometimes API doesn't load correctly, so that's what's kicking you. Anyway, we're going to unanchor, and we see our strafe is now extremely fast. You slide around on faster strafe, but you can see you're you're not. It's not like whoop, there I go. Um, but your strafe shouldn't be that fast. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna stop that. Uh, starboard turn. See now it's really slow. Uh huh. And forward should now be like I think I put it at forty or something higher than oh twenty one. Okay. And then our rev backwards should be fifteen. Um, alright, so that's pretty much how you set up your TBS ship system. Uh, good luck, guys, and uh, smooth sailing. Have fun sailing on the high seas. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions or problems, feel free to contact us on TBS Discord. Um, we do not offer an installation service anymore, but we will assist you if you need it. So, alright, yep, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next video.